Jim Maxwell as one of around 5,000 people in the UK living with motor neuron disease, a terminal illness. Putting shoes on is impossible for me. Lifting trousers up is impossible for me to do. The illness is starting to take a good hold of me now. Known as MND or ALS, the condition gradually takes away movement from people, and for almost everyone with it, their voice too. To actually live in a world where you can't speak and be heard, it, it sounds, to me, it sounds alien and frightening at the same time. Thanks to some new tech, Jim's going to record his voice from home so it can be digitally reproduced if he loses it. It's really important that I do bank this voice and so that I can be still be seen, still be me. I Will Always Be Me is an interactive storybook by Intel and Dell, created in partnership with Rolls-Royce, the MND Association and Edinburgh-based startup Speak Unique. It conveys the effects of MND written in the first person. Do you think it's okay? If so, I love the music. Some of them are okay. It takes around an hour to read, a fraction of the time it would traditionally to record in a professional voiceover booth. And all the recordings from the book are sent here for processing. Personalised speak unique voice. All of our voices are built on what we call a bass voice, which incorporates hundreds and hundreds of hours of people speaking, which means that when we come to recording an individual, we've got all those examples already in our system. And so with the short amount of uh, recording that the individual can do through the book, we can then sort of adapt our bass voice to sound like that one individual. As well as replicating, the company says it's able to restore voices back to healthy sounding speech. The first three are really fast, but they might be okay if they were slowed down. Our system understands what, say, a normal articulation pattern would be. So if someone comes to record and they've noticed that their articulation is slurred or they have effort in their speech, we can disregard anything that might be part of their disease and retain just what's them. But does it actually sound like the person? Only one way to find out. On warm. Probably have some questions about all this. This is based on the recording of my voice. It means I can continue to communicate in my own voice. Hmm. When you talk to me, and I want to listen to your funny. For someone who's been diagnosed with this, every minute counts, and that process is extremely meaningless, except for the fact that eventually it generates a voice. So essentially, it's a way to get people to speak to their loved ones in ways that can get them to adjust to what's going to happen and what's coming. Dad's always been the life and soul of a party if you walk into places. He's normally the first person you hear. Yeah, he's the, the like, laugh you hear, the voice you hear. Yeah. Like. To even still have that, even if it's not coming from him, um, I think will be great. How important is it to be able to hear your dad's voice once he's gone? Sometimes he says stuff and, I'm, you know, I hear it and I'm like, oh, please don't forget that, you know. If I didn't manage to capture it, like, yeah. I think my daughters might be a bit sick of hearing me, but I think it's essential for me. <sighs> Voice might start to change. AI and deep learning is improving at a rate that none of us can actually even comprehend. To me, it just says that the fidelity of these systems will start to sound much, much more like people, right, without having to have that huge cost of, of capturing data just for the sake of generating voice banking. And I will always love you. That's it. What did you think about that, Jim? Yeah, some of the phrases and more than it, it hits our own nerve. It talks about where I'll need help from my girls, whether it, to get dressed, when obviously when they were babies, that was my job. Yep, it's quite strong. Of course, creating a voice bank is just one part of the puzzle. Putting it to use is another thing altogether. When I'm actually dead and gone, they can still go onto that app and still listen to my voice. So I might be gone, but I'll still be there for them.